Happy Spooky Month, everyone. I am the boy Chicken, and Just here is doing a spooky time dance, and this is more Harmony of Dissonance. Uh, or Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. And we are continuing our quest through the evil castle, this time looking for Lydia, who is our friend, apparently, who, I guess, got kidnapped. Uh, basically, our, our other friend, Maxim, came back uh, and informed us that she had been kidnapped even though he did not remember the kidnapping uh so it's it's a little fishy and we left him outside so uh we're in here now doing our thing and we are just belmont who is the son or the grandson of simon belmont which is cool i like that and there's a cool gigantic skeleton in the background look at it go uh what's to the left uh this is the room of illusion i will come back to the room of illusion Oh, look at these weird, like, dog things down here. This game has some really cool, like, stuff in the background in it. I like it a lot. Um, although it does have the garish, uh... It does have the garish Game Boy Advance colors. I didn't know why that was the case for so long. Because, like, I, I'm playing this, as you can tell, on a Game Boy Advance player. And, um... I have played most, like, most of my experience with, uh... Game Boy Advance has been on the Game Boy Advance player because I got it very early on and that background is crazy. Look at it go. Uh, whoa, whoa. Um, and, uh, you know, once I had it, I was like, I don't see any reason to play this on the actual handheld anymore. Uh, I'll just play it, you know, on the system I prefer, which is on a console. So I'm always going to prefer console gaming. Um, oh, hey, we got, hang on, we got a new, uh, we got a new sub-weapon. Let's see what the, uh, let's see what the ice book does with it. Um, so, I, I, I can't get that. I want that, but I can't get it, because I can't slide yet. Um, oh, that's cool. I like that. That's neat, but it does use up a lot of magic, so let's just go back to normal. Um, yeah, since, since, so I, I would play a lot of, a lot of the games on, uh, on console, and... It always seemed strange to me, like, I, I remember the Game Boy Advance as being a very, like, ugly system as a result. Because the Game Boy Advance, if you were not familiar, um, was not backlit. At least it was not backlit until, like, its last iteration. Um, and uh, as a result, they had to do certain things to make the graphics stand out on a system that didn't have, like, a guarantee of uh, proper lighting. And so a lot of the games have really, like, bright, garish colors to stand out since they would be a little bit washed out from not having a light behind them. And so when you play them on the Game Boy Advance player, which just kind of, you know, do it does have a light behind it, you don't have that same issue, uh, you wind up with these games that have, like, really ugly colors because, uh, they had to stand out. Anyway, all that to say, uh, it's not the prettiest game in the world, <laughs> but it is, or it's not the prettiest game in the world in terms of, that guy just, he didn't, he just didn't want to fight me, he just kept backing away. Oh, look at these guys are here holding up the roof, they're like, yay! <laughs> like, if you don't think about them holding up the roof, they look very silly. Yay! <laughs> they're all trying to get a hug. Like, do you want a hug? Give me a hug! <laughs> Um, yeah, it's very bright, but it's cool. A lot of the, a lot of the imagery is really neat. Like, they really went with, a, went with a lot of macabre themes, which I like. I think that's cool. Alright, where do I need to go now? Um, so the room of illusion? Oh, there's a place at the top of this room. Okay, let's go back up there. Let's go back up there. Ow. Let's do this. Oh, I don't have, I don't have any, uh, hearts. I don't have enough hearts. It is sort of funny how a lot of these games kind of fluctuate between using hearts and using magic. Like, um, I know some of the games, like, I think, uh, I think Dawn of Sorrow uses, uh, one gauge for everything. Uh, I think they just have a magic gauge. And then, of course, uh, Symphony of the Night had hearts and magic, but the magic was largely useless unless you really knew how to use it, and I did not, which meant that, uh, I, uh, I didn't use it. But in this game, you have a, you have good reason to, to value both hearts and magic, so it's kind of cool. I like that. That kind of thing. Hello, Flea Man. 
I see you over there. I see you over there, Flea Man. We're gonna throw this axe at you. Oh, we got we got an axe. Okay, let's check out what it does. Spell book. Uh, what does the axe do? Okay, it sort of makes an ice axe. That's cool. The other nice thing is that since the um, since the MP recharges naturally, uh, you can use like if you run out of hearts, you can switch to magic. If you run out of magic, you can switch to hearts. I like that. Side point. Yay! Get some magic right here. Just just can just billow in the wind for a little bit. I th and I think that was a boss room down here. So let's go fight our first boss of the game. Eh, get out of here. Probably shouldn't be using magic right before I fight a boss, but whatever. It's very red in here. So very red in here. And then bats happen. Oh, it's the giant bat. Nope. He's like, I'm not corporeal yet. So I wonder if this is actually supposed to be a direct reference to Castlevania 1. You know, what with this being, uh, Simon's grandchild and all. Because this is the first bo this is the first boss you fight in Castlevania 1. And it, it so far, it's behaving very much like that boss, in that it is only attacking either via fireball or by drill- well, attack- like, uh, coming down from the ceiling, I guess. Not really the way best way to put it. Oh, gosh! Uh, I thought it was going to seek me out. Alright, I'm going to switch back to regular old axe. Regular old axe. That is a huge axe. Whoa. The axe is ginormous in this game. Ah, well, I'm, at, well, I'm out, of, out of hearts and MP, so I guess I'll just whack it with my whip. Eh. Ow. Alright, you. Not exactly a very difficult boss. Kind of making it look harder than it actually is. There we go, it's dead. Awesome. <laughs> and then I'll stand with my hand on my hip, level up, and wait for the mysterious crystal that always seems to fall when you beat a boss in this game. Good! Oh, that's right, it actually, you actually get like a grading if you can jump at like, if you if you catch it right when it appears, I think you get a, uh, there's like a great. It's like, great! You caught the thing! Let's keep going this way. See what's, that, see what's down here. Now, I don't remember very much about where you're supposed to go in this game. This this game is very confusing in terms of, like, uh, the way you're supposed to move forward through it. And uh, it, it becomes more confusing due to a mechanic that we will see in a little while. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's very easy to get lost and not really know what you're supposed to be doing in this one. <laughs> So uh, hopefully, hopefully it won't be too terrible. Like I don't, I, I won't know this one like the back of my hand like I did with the uh, with Symphony of the Night. Side note, um, I feel like I don't know the back of my hand that well. <laughs> you know, that, that's one of those like phrases that people always like. Like it's one of those old old fashioned phrases. Oh, you know, you know this like the back of your hand. But it's like how well do you really know the back of your hand? Le I got leather gloves though. That's cool. Uh, I mean, it's I guess, I guess it's a hand. I wouldn't say that if someone were to ask me to tell them all the things on the back of my hand, I would know. Um, I like a fancy bandana. Leather boots. Alright, let's see. Did that. And leather gloves. <laughs> gloves made of leather. Warm. Cool. My hands are now warm! Huzzah! I think it's funny that they're playing up the warm part. <laughs> That's not what I usually associate with leather gloves, but what can I say? Uh, I did not live in Dracula times. Oh, this is the save point. Okay. Sure. <laughs> cool. Found the save point again. But yeah, we'll just kind of have to wander around. Try and find our way. I don't... Well, we haven't tried it out yet. Let's see what the holy... The holy book, the Bible, does when you use the ice book. Wow. So it uses up a lot of MP, but that is quite an effect. Maybe I'll keep that. It's kind of a nice little, like, explosion, little Nova Crash kind of thing. Eh. 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 I'm out of things to eh. Eh. <laughs> the, uh, the, the Medusa heads die in kind of a gruesome way in this one. Well, 
sort of gruesome. It looks it looks like they're exploding into blood, but I guess they usually do that, kind of thing of it. So maybe it's not so gruesome. Maybe it's not so gruesome when the mysterious, you know, disembo- Oh, I found a thing! It's like a diamond crossbones. Redstone. Oh, that's a whip upgrade. Okay, so, um... Adds fire fire to attacks made with whip. So you can both you can both upgrade your uh, sub weapons and your whip. It's neat. I like that. I like it. It's cool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I li I like that they didn't like they they, they were like, they didn't just say like okay this works we're always going to do this same method. Uh, they they keep changing it up with each game. That's neat. And then Do and then uh, Ari of Sorrow came out, and they're like, "Oh, everyone really likes the soul system. Let's use that forever." <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm bitter about about I'm bitter about Soma, just because of Harmony of Despair. Really, <laughs> that's like the only reason I'm upset about it. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Freaking skeleton, get out of here! I want that. Yeah. Oh, this is like a little window nook. Yay. That's a very green roof. Why is the roof so moldy? Should get that checked out. Could cause the ceiling to collapse in on the evil castle. Could be a problem for everyone. Except for the many people who would be saved by that being the case. Well, I want that up there. And I, can I, I, I'm guessing I can't get that yet. It looks important. Eh, can I... I can't double jump. I can't, like, kick or do anything special. Eh, no, I'm not gonna make that. Okay, let's keep going. Probably have to come back here. But you can see how, like, the environment is really varied in terms of, like, the backgrounds and all the, the, the tile sets and stuff. It's very, uh... I guess, especially when you if you compare it to Circle of the Moon, um, there's a lot more going on in this one, which I like. I think that's really cool. Um, I like when these kind of games make the environments very diverse because it helps you to remember areas. You're like, oh, I remember... The place I need to go that that looks like such and such. So that's cool. Although there are some stages in this place that are absolutely samey. There's a uh, there's an area later on that's just like it's called like the Cathedral of Bones or something or like is it just called the Bone Chamber? It may just be called the Bone Chamber. <laughs> um, but it's just it's just skeletons. That's it. Oh hello. Oh that's cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, no though, I don't. I don't like you. Look! Look at how cool this dude is. He's like, check out all the amazing things I can do with this giant sword. He's gonna throw it, man. What a cool, cool dude this guy is. Have more knives. Look at. I'm dead. I was killed by the cool, cool dude. And game over. And there's my bracelet. Oh, I forgot to mention that. That's that's like a big thing, is that uh, Just has this bracelet. Uh, it, you can see he always has it equipped by default, uh, JB's bracelet. Just has grown attached to this bracelet and always wears it. It um, And there's another one that Maxim wears, uh, which is, I think it's called like the MK bracelet, because I think Maxim's name is Maxim Kirsche, maybe? Which I believe is, a, is it's either German for church or cherry i can't remember but um yeah and so that that comes into play later on in the game i think that you that the they both have these matching bracelets because they're super bros they're the, they're the bro broiest of bros so they have matching bracelets so if you want to be bros with your bros make sure you get get matching bracelets it's important <laughs> all right where was i going i need to equip this equip that yep I was finding things. I should keep going that way. Yeah, I'll keep going that way. I'll keep going that way. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to once the once the major mechanic of the game is introduced, uh, things get very confusing. So I'm not looking forward to that. Um, I, I remember there was. I, I think I talked about this in the previous Castlevania series that there was one part in this game where I was completely stuck for so long because the solution was just walk to the other side of the room. Like, there was one room, because no, oftentimes in Castlevania games, if you're stuck, it's because, you know, you can't open a door or you can't get across a room. And oftentimes, they'll, oops, sorry about that, they'll set those rooms up such that you can only go partway into it. So you can see that you have not 
completely explored a room. Thing is, in this game, in the room that I needed to just go to the other side of the room, um, it didn't it didn't do that. It wasn't like a place where half the room was explored, so if I was looking at the map, I could tell that I needed to do something there. It was just like a random room that you had to walk across the other side, so. So we're going to get some of that, but hopefully I'll be able to get through it. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to kill the skeleton. It's going to hit us in the head, which is super cool of him, let me just tell you. I like this lime green wood back there. The wood shore. Is that is that shoring or is that... It kind of looks more like shoring, like in a in a mine, than it does like a, a wall. Well, I guess shoring is a wall. Eh. I don't know what the explanation is for the little echo effect, because I always got the impression in Symphony of the Night that the idea was that um, that was some sort of, like, demonic aura that was... Oh, hang on. Some sort of demonic aura that was following uh, Alucard. But in this game, I mean, this is, this is the Belmont. He's the holiest of holies. And so he really shouldn't have a demonic aura at all. <laughs> Kind of strange, that. Man, this guy is so cool. Look how cool this guy is. Oh, Just only wishes he could be as cool as this guy is. This flame sword. How cool he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's like a... a he's, he's a sword knight. Way cooler. He's gonna throw that sword. Look at him go. Oh, I killed him. Goodbye, cool dude. You're the best. You turn into stone for some reason. Huh. What do you know about that? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> All right, life max up. Well, what is this? Here's a door. It is locked. That door is locked. It also has a skull in the uh, in the door jam. <laughs> oh shoot, I'm, I'm I'm over time this time. Okay, well in the next episode we'll <laughs> keep trying to figure out what's going on. We beat the cool guy though, so it's uh successful, right? I can do this dance. Look at that sweet dance. I am the White Chicken. This is Harmony of Dissonance. Thanks for stopping by. Boogie, 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 boogie.